Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's, it's too, too many, many spirits. <laughs> This week's episode of Too Many Spirits is sponsored by Vessi. Now, Vessi are fully 100% waterproof slash snowproof sneakers. And I mean waterproof, not water resistant. That means that you could dip these bad boys in a pool and come out Scott clean. And by Scott clean, I mean dry, completely dry, bone dry even. My socks, it's like they came out of the dryer. That's how dry they were. Completely dry. That's crazy. They're super easy to keep clean. They're very comfortable and they truly are your everyday by the door sneaker. I wear them quite often, especially when I go to theme parks that may have a log flume. Hmm? Or uh, if I wanna, you know, just uh, jump around in my neighborhood's puddles while looking stylish. Also, these Vessi shoes are great for traveling. They pack very easily and go well with everything and pretty much leave you ready for any kind of environment you can encounter. Anyways, check them out in the link below and use my code WATCHER to get $25 off your own Vessi shoes. Now, let's get on to Too Many Spirits. Say your line, big boy. This is a show where we drink our drink and read your spooky ghost stories. We're filming four episodes, all of them being filmed tonight. <laughs> There's a bird. And uh, we're a little different now than when we were at the, uh, at the, at the what do you call it, beginning. Well, uh, as, all, as Just, always, we'll be drinking a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim. Who? Oh. That's not spit, baby. That's water. That's called the liquid life, motherfucker. Stevie, what do you got for us tonight? Oh, Jesus I Christ. Christ. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Stop it. It's the season finale. Oh, yeah, thank That's God. That's right. I have fully inebriated my friends, Ryan and Shane. That's not the goal, though. No. Full inebriation. No, not Drink the goal, responsibly. right. Responsibly. Yes. Right. Humans. Mild inebriation. It's funny that we're going to cut to a future of ourselves that's going to be quite sloppy. This is going to be Ryan and Shane at this point in time. That's what that, we're going to be like? That's oh, spot that's on. Me. I looked exactly like us. I actually thought he was you for a second. So for our last drink, our beverage. I know you've been waiting for it. I don't even know what the name is called. Okay. okay. Oh. The last one is going to be called, it's my favorite, maybe. Slaughter water. <laughs> Beautiful. Slaughter water. Slaughter water. <laughs> yes. You like that? Yeah. All right, so we're going to first start with some uh, ice. <clears throat> Always with the ice. There we go. Here I like go. that this one seems to have some marinara sauce in it. It's a Bloody Mary mixture. Oh! That's right. You're going to get your taste buds going on fire! Do we have bacon? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Can I offer that I despise Bloody Marys? Hey, really? Maybe you'll make one that's so good that it'll change my opinion of them. Mm. Have you seen the other drinks? You ever go on an insult shoot and be like, wow, that was scary? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're about to poop your pants, what? shame a day, with this Bloody Mary. Okay. Next up in the Bloody Mary, we got vodka, and you know how I do with the vodka. Generous pour for my friends, because, you know, you're regulars at the bar, so. This one's on the house. Thanks. And this house is owned by Ryan's parents. Thank you, Linda and Steve. You're the best. <laughs> Is that to, is that customary in Bloody Mary's? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Oh, I, I didn't custom. know that. I do love Worcestershire sauce. Oh, ugh, I did not know that. I wish I didn't know that now. We also need to add, of course, our lime juice. Pop this lime in half. All right. Oh, watch your fingers. Hey, I've cut a lot of things on a show called Discranted, and you would think that you've seen it and you would know that my cooking skills are premium. We all know those are body doubles. Intoxicate, my friend. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You gotta find the right spot. Boom. That was actually weirdly satisfying. Very satisfying. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. Boom. Finally. Hey, who's a spicy boy here? Who's a spicy boy? You a spicy boy? Well, I'm a spicy boy. 
I'm, I'm a, a little spicy. I'm, I'm the resident boy. spicy boy. Oh, it's for my spicy boys in the house. Sriracha and a Bloody Mary, huh? Okay. Shh. Oh no. What? I forgot to salt the glass. You forgot what? <laughs> Nothing. What did you do? Nothing. I'm pretty sure he forgot to salt the glass. So we have some delightful sea salt. Love that. You know what? If I pull this off, they may call me the greatest bartender of all time. They're not gonna do that. Yeah, I don't think you won't pull it off. I'm gonna rim. Don't. Don't say you're gonna rim job it. <laughs> the old limb rim. I'm gonna give it the limb job. I'm gonna give it <laughs> the old <gasps> limb job. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. You know what? When you guys have your drinks, I will remember the, the salt rim the glass, but. Just imagine I'm um, salting it. Tell the audience at home to salt their glass first. Salt first, irresponsibly kids. Sriracha. Voila. Thank you for joining us. This, my friends, is the slaughter water. It's Dude. a lot of water. It's a lot of water. That's a slot of water. Drink it. Just do what you gotta do. Do people want limes in Bloody Mary? I didn't even know that. Uh, no, oh, I should I ask for mine without sriracha. Hey, nice. you got the salt on the top. Did someone just touch my neck? <laughs> the nape? The fucking call back! Well, it's not gonna drink itself. Ooh, roasting the, oh, spirit camp! Yeah, put the fucking, you get your shit together. So I was roasting the lime over there. Oh, why don't you try fucking? Would you shut up? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh God, dude, the mouth noises are so. Grotesque. This is the spirit cam. Everybody, everybody yeah. loves it. Here we really go. give them a show on this one. The slaughter water. Give them a show. What do you mean by show? Yikes. Is that like a tongue show? It's tasty. It's definitely savory for this time of the night. I don't like Bloody Marys at all. It's not a Bloody Mary. Yes, it is. Slaughter water. It's a Bloody Mary. Uh, the way Shane's drinking, it might be more a slobber water. <laughs> I actually think this is like a seven. It's just not the it's just not the mood right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like if this was the morning. Yeah, dude. It, it technically you know, is. Before we hop on to our our morning briefings, <laughs> I just we are, when I usually take my Bloody Marys, I want to chug them. <laughs> Let's read some fucking stories. Oh, uh, shall I start? This is so bad. Oh, I just really don't like Bloody Marys. I never have. All right, this comes for me. User Fran dot doodle nine on Instagram. <laughs> it sounds so angry at Fran. So long story short, my dead dad as a ghost caused my neighbor's cats to go on anxiety meds. <laughs> well, people gotta stop giving away the goat in the first sentence. And if you're gonna give us a long story short, stop after the first sentence. So, Back when my dad was alive, we had this neighbor who was, you know, an athletic mom who used to do soccer. Oh, it sounds like they're insinuating something. You know. Yeah, who was an athletic mom. Who used to do soccer, so he kind of had the hots for her. <laughs> my mom was chill and didn't really care, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Until she fucking killed him. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> a few years after my dad died, that neighbor moved out. And a new neighbor moved in. This new neighbor had two cats, and they were always anxiously staring at something in the middle of the rooms. Almost like there was a ghost. How do you know that about your neighbor's cats? A lot of, uh, I feel like, assumptions being made about these pets. Well, but also, I guess maybe you could be good friends with your neighbors, but... Yeah, I'm sure your cat does weird shit all the time. You're not like... Guess who knows about it? Me. Nobody else. I don't go around knocking on my neighbor's doors and be like, Oh, you wouldn't believe what Obi did. Hee hee hee. No, I would say them more like, Obi probably does crazy shit all the time. You're not immediately going to assume that Obi's seeing a ghost. No, I never do. Or He's anxious. a cat. They're, cats are fucked up. They're weird. Yeah. They don't belong here. Aren't all cats perpetually anxious? I don't know what their deal is, man, but I don't think they belong on Earth. I agree. And this caused the cats to eventually go on anxiety meds. So my fam and I always joked that my dad used to hang around in that house because hot soccer mom used to live there and just stayed to scare <laughs> cats because he was a wise ass. Funny that it's a family joke. I guess so. <laughs> that funny family joke where dad was checking out the neighbor. LMAO, dad wanted to fuck the neighbor. <laughs> yeah, dude. RIP, dude, rip to that dad. <laughs> I'm gonna go four. Feels like a four in my bones, and I do not deny my ratings. I do not deny my instincts. It's a four. That's a four if I've ever heard one. I apologize to the user. I'm gonna have to go with it. Three. Oh, feels like a three. Well, now I feel great. Mm. Mm. Disgusting. Why would you do this? Why would you do this to us? 
I, I actually have not extended the function of the bell to you this entire time, but if you ever want to use it. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna power through this mason jar full of Bloody Mary and- Slaughter water. It's slaughter water, Ryan. Whatever it is. I don't think I'm gonna be needing the bell. What you might be needing, the bell. Taco Bell? That's oh, right. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got there. This is from Oh Dear Eli on Instagram. <laughs> my aunt and my cousin lived alone together for a long time. Huh? Wait. Oh God, more cousins. I didn't even notice that. But yes, more cousins. Cousins be creepy. Crazy. Move on. I thought there was a burp coming, but there's not. Ooh. I think he just shit his pants. Oh, oh, my cousin was really lonely and my aunt had bought her a life. <laughs> my cousin was really lonely and my aunt had bought her a life-size clown doll. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but that, what, what, exactly what, what you yeah, do what, for a lonely what, child. Just what the doctor ordered. Seems like you're having some troubles <laughs> socializing. Here's Bozo! <laughs> yeah, here's a fucking thing with a permanent smile painted on its face. My cousin always spoke to this doll like a friend, and my aunt thought it was the creepiest thing ever and regretted ever buying it for her. She always tried hiding it, but to no avail. That makes sense. Are we talking like life size in relative to what? Imagine me size. I don't like that. I don't know if it's a child's clown, which is also creepy. Yeah, now imagine it as Ryan size. I'm still kind of creepy. Well, okay, so child size, Ryan size. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> It's for episode four, we're having fun. We're drinking disgusting drinks, having a good time. Unbelievable. My cousin would find it no matter where she hid it. Yeah. One day, my aunt hid the clown in the attic before my cousin came back from school. Later, after they retired that night, my aunt heard strange noises and went to go check on my cousin. She had the doll sitting be beside her in the rocking chair like she always has it. My aunt asked, how did you find it? To which my cousin replied, he was calling for me. What the fuck? She was just 11 during this time. They ended up completely getting rid of the doll. So beware of ever getting a clown doll. Especially if you have a fucking weird ass child, I suppose. Get rid, get rid of more than the doll. Yeah, I was about to say. Get a little, that, two, a little two for one special there. Maybe it's a good idea to get a life size clown doll because you could suss out whether your kid's a freak. <laughs> Yeah, if you've got a few kids, you buy a life-size clown doll, figure out which ones start talking to it and hearing <laughs> telepathic messages yeah, from yeah. it, and they're like, all right, uh, maybe I'll leave you at the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever get me a clown doll. I won't. Promise me right now you'll never get me a clown doll. I promise you that I will never get you a clown what doll. What was that under your breath? I didn't hear that part. You said something you before. Mean. I give that story an eight out of 10. I actually liked it quite a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that one a... <laughs> Jesus, man. Rate it! <laughs> Seven out of 10. Beautiful. Nice. Ooh, I like uh, uh, wet. A wet, a wet, that was a wet one. Is that what you say, basketball? Dropping right. dimes, a real wet one. Yeah, all righty. Well, it's not. Spelunk. Sploosh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next story. This comes from user French dash chairs. Oh, I thought you were gonna say French Stewart. I got really no, not excited. French Stewart. I don't know what that guy's My up man. to. Uh, this is on Tumblr. Is French Stewart is on Tumblr? No, French chairs. Growing up, I always sensed a threatening presence in my house. Turns out some whack ass who lived there killed his family with an ax and then hung himself on the staircase. So maybe that's him? Can't be doing that. That's the end of the story. Can't be, can't <laughs> Wait, be doing that. what the fuck, dude? Can't be. No shit, man. Wow. Would you buy a house that- Oh yeah. What, that had I would. A, a whack ass killer that ax murdered their family? I would be hesitant to. I know the market is real saturated how, how, right now. Uh, how much of a discount would it have to be? Like 40%. I think you'd go for 30. Yeah, I would. You're 20? Right. Yeah, 20. 20, wow. 15? Sure. 10? Yeah. You'd go for a 10% discount for a house that had an ax murder happen I where mean, everyone I don't, was murdered inside. <laughs> I don't know them. But what, if you, know what, if, what if you got possessed and they made you do that? I don't think that's a thing. And, you, and you, you murdered Sarah and your precious Obi. I wouldn't do that to them. But it wouldn't be you. No, it would be because I don't, I've, <laughs> I've never been possessed. I don't believe in that. <laughs> it's the first time for everything. 5%? Sure. Okay, no, no discount at all. Yeah, I'll take it. 
<laughs> okay. I'm gonna give that one a four because there's not a lot going on there. I'll give that one a 10. A 10. I think it's really good. Succinct, to the point. That's true, they did get Painted to the point. Painted a picture. This is from Ty Ty 311 nice. on Instagram. They say, one time me and my friend Nino went to Goatman's Bridge at night. Know it well. They might want to consider calling that by the actual name. Shane and Ryan's Bridge. Thank you. And we copied what Shane did. Like the whole speech? I guess, I don't know. This is fairly iconic, so. <laughs> then suddenly we both got chills and felt something near us. We looked around and heard a strange noise that sounded animalistic. After that, we bolted out of there as quickly as possible. It could have just been a raccoon, but to this day, we both firmly believe that we had an encounter with Goatman. He ain't there anymore. We booted his ass. He's gone. <laughs> it's ours now. Yeah. If you heard something there, it was us. And if it sounded animalistic, it's because we were growling. That's true. We told that fucking Zero to go straight back to hell. Pack your bags, buddy. Yeah. The fucking charade's over. He's out of there. This bridge belongs to the boys now. His sorry ass got booted. He's done for. Do you, you remember the noise he made when he had to walk away? <laughs> 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 and you can hear his little click clack. Yeah. Click clack, click clack. Ooh, are you so poor? little ass. I never thought I'd have to give this up. His shitty little hooves. Fading into the night. I don't know where he is now, but he's a fucking loser. Yeah, I agree. Here's to, to booting that fucking loser <laughs> right off of his home turf. Hope you enjoy hell, dickhead. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Not just because it was talking up our beautiful adventures. Oh, yeah. A 10 out of 10. That's good. What from you? Ten. That's too, too many, many spirits! spirits. Uh, user saltiest blood tumbler. I'm a writer sorta person. Yeah. And I draw my <laughs> inspirations heavily from Kafka. No. Oh. So, during my last relationship, I started writing a novella about how I'd kill my boyfriend and get away with it. Obviously, it was layered and wasn't meant to be taken seriously. Well. You gotta be careful. We've all been there. Stuff. We've all been there. Writing a novella about killing your significant other. I would exercise some caution in that realm. You've never written a novella about killing somebody? No. Have you? You have, haven't you? You've written dozens. Hours and hours of you imagining a murder in detail. Yeah, but it wasn't for like a partner. It was for like more like a like a work partner, like a- Oh, interesting. Stephen one, Lim? One could even say like a work husband. Stephen Lim? No, not Stephen Lim. Matt Rial? No, not Matt Rial. Huh. I was just funny. remembering some of, it, some of it. That sounds fun. It's fun. That sounds funny. Yeah, it's, it's, it could be. On our fourth anniversary, I thought I should show him the book, and I did. He was freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> and literally broke up with me, yeah. calling me insane. Did I deserve it? Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. I apologize. I'm sorry. I don't want to judge, but if you show me a fucking like binded book of how you're going to murder me on our anniversary, gonna cut it short. I might have to ask for the check. Here's a PowerPoint of how I would go about sawing your head off. <laughs> uh, what do you think of this? Happy anniversary. <laughs> That's a big no for me. That's yeah, gonna be a big no for me as well. Actually, what if I you just... were together for 40 years? Still gonna still, be I'd in still okay. say yeah, still yeah. All right. It's just one. Is yeah. there a threshold? After that long, because it's like you've been with me for forty years. Yeah. The thought of murdering me should not really cross your mind. Also, like, <laughs> if it's been gestating for that long, Ex extra concerning. Extra concerning. Yeah. Because at a certain point, that pressure valve is gonna. Yeah, boop, boop, and boop. my thought would be like, this is kind of when like you get kidnapped. And then the person who kidnaps you takes their mask off. You know some bad things during, are there in store. You're well, not gonna you're not gonna see the light after that. Now you see their face. Now you see their face. So Extra when they concerning, hand, yeah, because yeah, yeah, you get that then, and then you're like, oh, oh, ah, are you what, gonna do this to me? You freak! What, exactly. What the fuck am I supposed to react? You hand me a murder manual. I'm not gonna be like stoked to see it. Yeah. Look, all due respect, salty as blood. I'm sure you're a great writer. I would consider using some. Uh, More of a fictional approach. Some pseudonyms. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, some. Yeah. This is a story about Alice and yeah. how much she doesn't like uh, Jeffrey. Yeah. Easy. No one hands somebody a how to murder you before they do it. It's, un it's an uncomfortable thing. I'm going to want to get out of there. I give it an eight, honestly. I After like all that. I like how forthcoming they were. I think they knew when they submitted this, it's them saying, uh, I goofed. 
Yeah. Oh, I goofed here. I really yeah. stepped in it. It is a good story, though. I'm gonna have to give it a nine. Okay! So, you know what? Maybe there's some solace to take in that. I like to Salty hear that. Well. This is from Juve Buckingham on Tumblr. When I was a kid, I used to have dreams about being mauled by a werewolf. <laughs> I actually can relate to that when I was a kid. I had dreams about being mauled by a, a giant dog. Oh, is that because you got bit by a dog? Did I get bit by a dog? I don't know. It's your life. Did oh, you get bit by a dog? I thought you were referencing something. I, don't, I was like, asking a question. No, I never got bit by a dog. I was chased by a husky on my... Is this oh. how therapy would work for you? Or you're like... <laughs> <laughs> I treat a therapist like someone who has the yeah, cheat like, codes to yeah, my life. Well, yeah. and no, I didn't get bit by a dog. I just always had a... And the specific thing in my dreams was that the dog not just attacked me, but it always went for the face. Uh, Jaws on the face, oh clamped, locked in, and just just pulling the flesh, tearing it from my face. Jesus Christ. And I would scream and scream and scream. <laughs> in real life, my parents would hear me screaming. Do you, um, do you think if you ever got actually mauled by a dog in that fashion, there'd be some peace in that? Like, oh, I knew all along. Yeah, I'd love it. Yeah, it'd be, I'd be so peaceful. <laughs> it'd be just me smiling as like, my face was ripped away. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, it all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw its face, just its huge, hairy silhouette. A few years ago, I was home for Christmas and sleeping in my old room for the first time in about a year. That night, around one, I woke to the sound of a door opening and saw a large, hairy silhouette looming Wait, were they over asleep me. Sleep still? They said they woke up. Oh, maybe sleep paralysis. I was sure it was the werewolf. Then, suddenly, it blurted out, Ooh, sorry, and closed the door. It was my dad. He'd got drunk and went to the wrong bedroom. <laughs> It's a big hairy silhouette. Yeah. I like that one 10 out of 10. I'm hairy silhouette. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Know what? That That's too many set on fire. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spear it. Okay. Too many, many spirits! spirits. Oh, it's an umbrella. What did I expect? Our final story. First, let's do a long Yeah, one. dude. Father, father, can't you see? It's <laughs> You have given us a beautiful story. It's soggy and it's wet, and I hope it's good. How did it go, Ryan? I think it's father. I don't. Father, know. father, no. make it wet. Don't say Sing that. Sing a song. I don't. We think haven't that. heard yet. Tell us a story. Make it good. While Ryan loads the fire with wood. Oh, I did a good job. Yeah, you did. You got there in the end. It was windy, but. Okay, I hope this one is a banger because it's the last one of the season. Actually, this is you. Bring us home oh, it's while so I drink this awful, 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 awful drink. It's a very soggy story. User, Shirley Amanda on Instagram. When I was about six, I had a Barbie battery powered radio that I kept in the hallway outside of my room. It would always turn on randomly at about 3 a.m. Oh. The witching hour. Oh, thank you. And my mom and I thought it was super weird. Flash forward a decade or so, my mom and I would always hear soft voices in the hallway usually saying, hello? It's Ooh. me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? Oh, we're going different routes yeah. here. Uh, oh yeah, you're talking about Adele. I was doing Adele, Lionel Richie, yeah. We were never scared. Then one day, when I was walking down the hall, a name suddenly came to mind. Betty, Betty, Betty. Who? <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Kung Pao entered the fist. So we started fondly calling the whatever it was in the hallway, Betty. Flash forward again. A few years later, we received a package oh, in the what mail. Is what is this, lost? Oh God, addressed to a Betty. Uh -huh. And inside. What is this, Taylor Swift's uh, folklore? Oh my God, uh -huh. is that the last you got? What, if, <laughs> what is this, Flintstones? <laughs> <laughs> Flash forward. What is this, hot in Cleveland? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Flash forward again, a few years later, we received a package in the mail addressed to a Betty. And inside was an antique lampshade. Between these experiences, the soft disembodied touches, and the one time my mom and I literally watched an empty soda can be pushed off the counter from thin air. <sighs> We're pretty sure our house is haunted by a sweet little old lady. Oh, Betty White's still alive, yes? 
Uh, I haven't checked Twitter. Okay. But I think so. What if you... That would be a horrible way to break the news. Check Twitter right now. Check her, check her Wikipedia. Yeah. What if she dies the day this episode? Jesus Christ, I, I hope mean, not, I'm not man. wishing that, I'm just saying. People would think we did it. Yeah, they would think we're witches. Dude, we fucking did a, a fucking we did a, we little, did a, little, we did a witch we, we did a little fucking, there. We did like witch shit back there, right? Yeah. She's alive. Good. Oh, good. I'm glad. You know how old she is? Oh, wait, let me guess, 92. I'm gonna go 97. She's 99. Wow. God damn, Betty White. Price is right, rules, I win. I give that 99 spirits out of 10 for <laughs> Betty. <laughs> that one's for Betty. My girl, Ms. Betty White, may she live and forever. You over may she live 50 more years. And uh, you know, I'm gonna have to give it 100 spirits out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call around here. Right. Too many. What have you learned this season, Ryan? I don't know. We've learned I, I don't... I don't care for Bloody Mary. It's just the only drink this entire season. You really like, do look alike. This tastes like fucking dog shit, Steven. <laughs> you ever looked at a flamingo and been like, brother? He does have similar legs to me. Yeah. And now... We set the spirits free as we do every season, I'm pretty sure. As I do, I always get it on the first try. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah! And it lifts up. And now we set the spirits free. We release them onto uh, the the ghost uh, realm. I'm trying to marry Poppins. The, the mirror dimension where great grandmothers eat cookies all day. Yeah, dude. We release all the spirits into. Can the we put either. the soggy ones in there too? I don't know. This is actually know. gonna help clean Another things fucking up. Fucking season in the books, dude. Ryan, uh, oh, just just dance around this with me. I could do that. Yes! I, I really hope this flame doesn't ignite my balls. That would be bad. It'd be funny. It'd be good for internet content, but bad for my future children. I'm assuming we're gonna go to a fade out soon. Oh, that fire sure is getting bigger and really close to the package. It feels good on the thighs. It does feel good on the inner thighs. Oh. Until oh, it doesn't, oh, if you know oh, what I mean. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, thanks for watching. You're free to go now.